Yes, I. All praises King Selassie, Jarastafari. Satan's world is full of deception. People look at life in terms of what they can get. They are often moved by convenience. There was a study that surveyed a bunch of executives and asked them about the, the espionage that's being conducted by GCHQ and some of these private companies working for the Rothschilds and other people involved in that banking cartel and said, why aren't more people aroused knowing that their information is being taken, um, you know, sold off and potentially used against them? You know, in other words, they'll be making less and working more tomorrow. And the, the, the answer that most of the executives come up with is complacency. However, if people are unaware something's being done, they cannot be complacent because complacent requires people to be aware and simply just not care. So what we're really dealing with is uneducated people. The system of education in this country is designed to keep most people back from that, those benefactors at the top keep that distance. Um, I myself going to postgraduate school with master's degree. I can attest that all that information I learned in school is was a waste. A waste of time. And I even go into the library today and see what the the students are learning, what they're being tutored on, and it's complicated sometimes, mathematical formulas and things. But it's really not applicable, and it never will be to most of these people. Now, it could apply to some of the top engineers and stuff, but what has their uh, labor resulted in? Destruction of Earth, all species, and soon to be humans. So, what people start, uh, really should be looking at is results. Have you ever seen a baseball game where there's no scoreboard? Everybody just plays along, there's no innings, um, there's no rules. It wouldn't make sense. It would be chaotic. So when we look at the results and we see all these gigantic, big mansions, people own islands, I mean, the results worked out great for them, but for most people, the results, they're worse off than they were in previous generations. When I listen to the dependent radio stations, they talk and talk and talk and never measure the results. You know, they never take a look at the situation and say, you know, it's not going in our favor, supposedly, what they represent. Of course, what they pretend to represent is not really what they're re representing. If it was, you can only draw two conclusions. That, um, well, you can only draw one conclusion, that they're not doing a good job. Right? Because if they're doing a good job and they're not getting the results, then they must not really be focused on those goals that they claim to be. So, people always have to look at that score and see, you know, how has this benefited humanity? Uh, you know, social media, let's say. A lot of people claim that it, because of social media that all these revolutionary movements are about, well, what revolution is there? 
This is the porn revolution, you know? It, not only have we got little girls being gang banged, you know, and defecated all over, but yet now they're being murdered too, Why on live stream. Is that the revolution? Is that one, is it, is it, is it a new car? I mean, is it the car, is it the way it's real slick and, uh, you know, has uh, velocity? I mean, what, where, I'm trying to pinpoint, oh, the BLTG community, right? But even the BLTG community claims that they're not safe. In fact, most of the media keeps telling us about how much in danger the BLTGs are. So, you know, where is the progress? If, if a, a, a woman becomes a president, I mean, is that progress? You know, I mean, it, it's not making the status of most women any, any higher, just one. Is that really progress? Um, so I don't know, like, different people have different definitions of progress. I consider progress to be security, prosperity, freedom. In of which people in the United States have none, except for those within the inner workings. So these folks claim that it's everyone on the bottom's problem. Yeah. But wait a minute. All these wars have a purpose to build up the technology. So when they say that people died for our freedom, they really mean if people died, they sent out their own soldiers to die so they could say look how unsafe it is we need to spy on you the Taliban didn't attack, attack the uh, trade center right? Sam bin Laden wasn't discovered and thrown off into the sea you know, but we've been told these things to make us believe in this story, and more importantly, for us to give them our goods. The original point is that if people are unaware that their information is being taken, they're not complacent. That's not complacency. That's just stupidity, or that's just ignorance, which is not stupidity. It's being left in the dark. And eventually, when everyone is aware, most everyone is aware, nothing will change because people have learned to accept it, because that's what they're being trained to do within the academia system brought up to be dependent on these devices that your parents accepted it they accept their information being taken you must too and again if I can have your information you can have mine and that goes with everyone look up Jacob Rothschild find out you know all his residences Every single company has a stake in. All the trust that he's hiding his money, all the offshore accounts he's involved in. Every single, you know, woman that he's communicated with or male, maybe he's doing that nasty thing. I wouldn't doubt it. If we can find that out and even get pictures of it. We don't have to show it to everybody. We can laugh amongst ourselves about it. We already know that's happening, but now we have the proof. Just like Edward Snowden, he brought us the proof. The things that the Rasta, the Iron Man, has been speaking about for 
since the last millennia. And now we had a, a man stand up, a real man. Him, put his money where his mouth was. Give us that evidence. But hey, all this technology is designed so that somebody who has taken too much can keep what he already has and that you can lose your freedom. One day, those that have done wrong will be punished. They will be punished.